You're a wizard, Harry. What's up, guys? The Hackspot here, and today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to run a virtual iPhone on your iPhone. This is so trippy, guys. Now, this does have some exclusive apps that you cannot find in the App Store that were removed, such as Flappy Bird, so you can still play Flappy Bird, and has so many more. Basically, running a whole iPhone, a virtual one, on your iPhone. So, you got a separate iPhone inside your iPhone. iPhoneception. It's kind of gimmicky, but it's so much fun to play around with. All right, now, before I start, I fixed my Wii U screen, and I now have a broken LCD over here taken out that I don't need anymore, so I wanted to crack it on screen because I thought it would be satisfying. All right, so here it is. Let's go ahead and crack this. So I just wanted to do this for some reason. Oh crap, my desk is getting dirty. Oh, this mirror. What's up guys? All right, there you have it. Ow, I think I cut myself. No, I'm good. Whoa, that's how an LCD is made. All right, ASMR complete, back to you, Joe. All right, so we're going back to this video, and again, we're gonna be running a virtual iPhone on our iPhone. It's very simple to do. First, what you wanna do is open up your internet browser. By the way, wallpaper on my Twitter page. Anyways, what you wanna do is click on the link that'll be down below inside the description, and make sure that this link opens up inside the Safari app, not YouTube, and you'll be brought right here to iNuclear. So anyways, uh, it's not actual nuclear. Uh, okay, let's just go down. And um, anyways, you guys can see all what this is all about and stuff like that. So anyways, what you want to do now is at the very top, you guys can see this install button. Tap right there, and it'll bring you to a new page. Install on your device. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. I had it on my iPhone for such a long time, and it's basically just a virtual iPhone. It's pretty cool. Now, you want to check I'm not a robot because uh, you're not a robot, and click on continue. And it's gonna wait. So now it waits about 10 seconds if you scroll down, and this link will become clickable. So one and zero, we gotta get the link. All right. So now tap on allow, and it'll be brought to your settings. And nothing happened for me. So if that happens for you, turns out I did cut myself. Cool. So to fix this, don't worry, this will fix everything. Okay, we can do a thorough one. Okay, so go open up settings, and over here, go ahead and scroll down until you find Safari. So, there it is. Once over here, go all the way to the bottom and clear their history and website data. Tap on that button, click on it again, and now go ahead and close out the settings app completely. And let's go to open up the link once more time. So, I'm going to open up the link in Safari, and let's go ahead and just do the same step. So, install, and you probably won't get this there since it's going to be your first time installing it, but because I've had it on my device multiple times, that's why it's doing this. So click here to continue. All right, so again, we have to wait those 10 seconds and then we'll get the link. And now we should get a pop-up, which is what we want. So let's say get link. And you probably again will not have this error. But anyways, hit allow and just tap on install on the top right. Finally got it, all right, cool. And let's go type in our passcode. Okay, now let's hit next. And you guys can read that if you want to. Thank you for installing iPhone Mirror. We hope you enjoy it. Please read the app description before installing iPhone Mirror. Use it at your own risk. Okay, wait, what? <laughs> All right, this works perfectly fine though. Anyways, let's go and install it and hit done. And let's go and show you guys what this is. So guys, there is the application right there. All you guys want to do is tap on it and watch this. This is pretty cool. So you got a virtual iPhone Running on iPhone, iPhoneception right here. Again, it's kind of gimmicky, gimmicky, but it's so much fun to play around with. And look at that, slide to unlock. I wish we got that back. But anyways, let's go and unlock this virtual iPhone. Whoa. All right, we guys, we are in. So now take a look at that, guys. This is so much fun to play around with. It's literally an iPhone inside your iPhone. It's so trippy. So these apps right here, some of these I don't have installed. So I don't have this app. I don't have Evernote. I don't have Steam. And so many more. So I go to swipe over, and there's so many applications in here you guys that you guys want to use. And basically, a virtual iPhone on an iPhone. This is pretty cool. So keep on scrolling over. There's Flappy Bird. And I actually, I just go and tap on any one of these apps, and they will run inside this virtual iPhone. It's pretty cool. So it's going to play Flappy Bird. There's an advertisement. We're also going to skip it real quick. Skip ad. And look at that. We can play Flappy Bird. So remember this game, guys? I'm going to try to get some. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get try to get past three on camera. I'm gonna rage and break my iPhone 10. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so you guys are putting so much pressure on me. You guys can be like in the comments like, "Oh, you suck at Flappy Bird. No wonder why I got deleted." <laughs> oh crap! Okay, um, my goal is to get three guys. Let's go ahead and get three. <laughs> nope. <sighs> okay, here we go. The trick is to jump when you're at the bottom. Okay, we got my goal. No way! 
as soon as I got excited. All right, so there you go. We're playing Flappy Bird now. I don't know how to exit the app. Okay, let's go and restart the iPhone. Okay. <laughs> All right, so starting up again. And for some reason, just over here, sliding to unlock this phone is just so satisfying. So I'm going to do it slowly for you guys. Oh, okay. That feels so good to slide to unlock again. Fruit Ninja. And again, guys, I do not have these apps installed on my device. So I don't have Fruit Ninja. Let's go tap on it. Let's see how that works. Oh my gosh. This is, this is so trippy. Skip ad. Okay. Wait, this is not Fruit Ninja. This is something else. This is a Fruit Ninja ripoff. I want the real Fruit Ninja. It's very tropical. So how do I exit? That's my main... Uh... Yeah, okay. The only way to exit, I guess, is to restart it. Oh, and you guys ready for it? That slide to unlock? Oh, all right. It's like peeling off like the plastic when you get off a new phone, when you get a new phone. This is so weird, but so cool. Anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to slap a like. Oh my God, what if you can install? No. Okay, if this has a Safari app, what if you install an iPhone on an iPhone and an iPhone? Actually, uh, the video's not over. I'm going to go ahead and try that real quick. So let's go back to the Safari app right here. And let's go ahead and go for iNuclear. All right, so there it is. And let's go ahead and try this. Okay, never mind. It's open in the, in the regular Safari app. It says go back to iPhone mirror and the breadcrumbs. So anyways, I guess that won't work. But yeah, guys, a virtual iPhone on your iPhone. Peace out. Round and round we go, losing self-control. I keep telling myself, but I don't want to let you know. Is this what we become? Strangers on the run